Ella wants a new soccer ball. But as a kid, what can she do to earn the money to buy it? And how much work will it take? Let's open Ella Earns Her Own Money and see if Ella succeeds. Chapter one is called, I want that soccer ball. Please, can we buy it, mom? I asked, I need a new soccer ball. Well, you already have one, mom replied. That ball costs $20. We'll talk about it tonight. After dinner, mom handed me a dollar bill and four quarters. An allowance will help you learn about saving and spending, she said. Now, I'll have my own money. As soon as I have $20, I can buy that soccer ball myself. Three of my quarters are to save. We will bring them to the bank, or you could bring them to Virginia Credit Union. One quarter is to donate. I want to give it to places that help animals. The rest is to spend or to save up for something special. Do you have jars like this at your house? Maybe you could create a save, a share, and a spend jar. So Ella's got some money already. Chapter two is called working for money. I dusted Monday morning. That's one of my chores. My friend Will has chores too. That's how he earns his allowance. But mom said we do it differently at our house. Here, chores are just part of being in our family. That's how it is at my house too. I kept thinking about that soccer ball. I needed $19 more. Mom said she would pay me for doing, doing special jobs. I wonder what those special jobs could be. Oh, so I cleaned out the car and she gave me $1. I wonder who left all that stuff in there. I think I have an idea of who it could have been. Let's take a math break. How much money does Ella have in her spend jar? Then mom helped me make posters. They said, hire Ella, and we gave them to our neighbors. The next day, Mr. Hansen asked me to weed. It looks like she was pulling some dandelions out of the garden. He paid me $2. Miss Lowry paid me to give Barney a bath on Wednesday. I got another dollar and a free bath. Look at Barney splashing around. On Thursday, Aiden's mom called. She paid me $2 to keep Aiden busy while she worked. We played with my old soccer ball. The new one would have been more fun. Saving money takes so long. It's hard to be patient, isn't it? When we finished, Aiden's mom gave me an extra dollar. That was for cleaning up Aiden. So, how much money does Ella have in her spend jar now? You might want to grab a piece of paper and a pencil or maybe even a calculator to help you. Chapter 3, Buying and Selling. On Saturday, Will came over. He really wanted one of my old games. My mom said I could sell it to him if his dad said it was okay. Will gave me $4 from his allowance savings. After we dropped off Will, we stopped at the store. My favorite gum was only $1. Yum! Later, I counted my money again. I still needed $9, and the gum was already gone. My babysitter taught me to make bracelets. She even left me some supplies. So I made two on Sunday. Then I sold them to the twins next door. Boy, Ella's really making some money, isn't she? They paid me $2 each and I got my allowance again. That meant another dollar for spending, but I still didn't have enough to buy that soccer ball. So let's take one more math break. How much money does Ella have in her spend jar now? Have you been keeping track? Let's see, we have $11 plus $2 plus another $2 plus $1. 
how much is that all together? She's getting there, right? She might reach her goal. Chapter four, it all adds up. I called grandma on Monday. I told her I'd been working hard. Guess what? She said she had a big job. Ooh, we cleaned her garage together. It took all afternoon. She gave me a cookie and she paid me $4. Finally, I had $20. That was enough for my soccer ball. Mom picked me up from grandma's. Are you ready to buy that soccer ball? She asked. Thanks, mom, I said, but I'm really tired from all this working. Could we shop tomorrow instead? So, have you ever saved money for something really special? Are you saving money right now for something special? It can be fun to keep track of how much money you saved so that you know when you're going to reach that goal. Let's work on a project together. I'd like for you to gather these materials. Please gather printer paper, a washable black marker, scissors, clear tape, and a green crayon. Figure out how much money you need to earn to buy your special item. If this is not an even dollar amount, maybe it's $15.25 or $75.10, round it up to the next dollar. That is your goal. Write your goal number on one corner of your paper. Use the black marker to draw a rectangle on your paper. And the rectangle should be about the size of a pink eraser. Put the number one on that rectangle on the paper using your black marker. Draw a second rectangle and write the number two on that rectangle, just like the picture that I have right here. Keep numbering those rectangles, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Keep numbering until the number of rectangles matches the goal number that you wrote on the corner of your paper. If you run out of room on your first sheet of paper, that's okay. Keep numbering on another sheet of paper and tape your sheets of paper together. Now you have a money chart. This is going to help you keep track of your saving. Ask an adult where you can hang it. When you earn your first dollar, color in the rectangle marked one using your green crayon. When you earn your second dollar, color in the rectangle mark two. Keep going until you have earned enough money to color in all of your rectangles. When you're done, give yourself a pat on the back and go buy that special item. I hope you enjoyed Ella Earns Her Own Money. If you'd like to purchase a copy of this book, please click the link below. Thank you for joining me today.